Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chick and I'm really excited because I have my own company and unlike has been advised by the president, I don't have to give up my cell phone to be able to afford Obamacare. I still get to keep it. Yes. Okay, I can hardly wait for the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, and for now, we're going to bring old Cam out with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh well, yeah, they said that uh, that the Republican Party is, is is on the verge of becoming extinct in our country because they're on the wrong side of history. Rather, but like what we're going to try, we're going to go back to someone that most people have never heard called Socrates. Socrates says, "Which side of history you're on simply depends upon who writes the books." Mm -hmm. And polluted Paris forces thousands of cars off the road. Oh yeah, because, um, okay, they, they keep the United States as a major polluter. Well no, the British are, the French are, the Germans are, all of these countries because they have a problem. While they have these anti-pollution laws, they also have factories. And if the factories aren't turning out product that they can sell, then the countries collapse. So what do you do? You you pass pollution laws that you completely ignore to keep the countries because the, the, the economy in Europe sucks. Mm -hmm. And bishops seek immigration reform during the border trip. Yeah, okay. There is no immigration reform. We're going to explain it very simply. There is, uh, they're going to give every 30 million people, give them a path to citizenship and allow more people into the country and never put any of the things up. How do you know it's not going to be done? First of all, the, uh, okay, the over 57% of the people in this country have all agreed the president lies most of the time. If the president says he supports it, you know he doesn't support the, inform you know, well, we're going to give $20 billion. Well, the president of the United States took uh, $600 million of that supposed money that was going to go to there to go to a jobs program because we need to provide work for people which if you legalize 30 million people that bring, weren't doing things legally before, they basically come out of the shadows and take the jobs from the people that are. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it works. Mm -hmm. And carry pressuring the wrong side, his real minister. Well, yeah, basically. Oh, uh, he, he thinks that if, remember they're pro-Muslim and anti-Jew. Today, they just announced that the, uh, Kerry and the Prime Minister uh, the, the, of Russia have come to an agreement that the, the Russians are going to see that the uh, military groups are disarmed as long as they get amnesty. The problem, folks, is they aren't paramilitary militia. They know. They, these are Chechniks. Mm -hmm. These are professional Russian soldiers brought in from Chechnya. Basically, the, the, they've been given uniforms that basically don't have any, any uniform tags on them. And these are the people that are still going to keep their weapons and the Russians. Well, if it continues, we will know who to blame, and it will be the Ukrainian government, and we will have to come in. That's, they said that basically, he, uh, he, I, I saw on the History Channel last night, they're talking about that, that Putin was a great lover of Adolf Hitler and how he was, how he was able to do things. He's following Hitler's playbook. Hitler's playbook is disarming everyone in Eastern Russia. That includes the people that are defenders of Eastern, Eastern Russia, even Ukraine. Yeah, so guess who then walks in anytime he wants? And Bizarro, Common Core, Kindergarten Math Homework, stumps dad with PhD. Well, this is the simple thing is that... Um, is it, this that, is, again... You, you have, um, was it, six times eight, which is 48, plus one plus six equals four, uh, six, six plus, six times eight plus one, uh, plus 5 equals 48. It's 54. It's like, where in the world it is 54. did these people get this? But they said Obama is a great proponent of Common Core. I, I saw commercials. The United States government has nothing to do with Common Core. It basically is handled by the people in the local areas. No, it's not. They basically don't get... Okay, you want to see the, the school board meetings where they're trying to get the schools, the, you know, the school system? No. Because Common Core is required by the federal government, not by the locals, folks. Yeah, you, yeah, something like that. They use, it comes from federal. It comes from the federal area. It, it's basically, if you want your money, this is what you okay, teach. Okay, what it was is that, uh, that well, it, embarrassed, it was embarrassing that you had school teachers that had to take their shoes off to count to three. 
now since common core okay we take this shoe off and we go this shoe and this hand and this hand we now have three uh, no it was 15 but they, they said there's uh, so the unions are basically rule when it comes to the schools in this nation and people the, the school board basically do whatever the teachers tell them to do and Ukrainian president deploys commandos to quell pro-Russian protesters. Yeah, and they have to be disarmed according also to um, uh, Obama's plan, so. And Indian arms imports almost triple China, Pakistan, the study. Well, yeah, because um, they're basically planning to go to war. And study finds signs of brain changes in pot smokers. Okay, I, I heard last night, they said that, um, anybody know that, you know, that how, how do we know the president has been smoking because he can't remember little details such as the fact that he was anti-gay marriage uh, and, and that uh, that he was this and he was that and he said here was another one comic he said you know why they call people why they call it dope mm -hmm. it's because they get very dopey oh and <laughs> nobody said that's why they call it dope because people get dopey oh Ukrainian troops and dig in near Russian border. Yeah, they also are going to have to leave. What do you mean? Well, no, that's part of Kerry and Obama's agreement with the Russians. The Ukrainians basically have to pull completely out and the, the militia groups will be disarmed and the Russians will be in charge of policing everything. Mm. And the U.S. says disappointed at no apology from Israeli defense chief. Yeah, well, uh, I guess the apology had to do something where they told them um, uh, carry what he could do with the, with his with what the Russian prime minister, uh, the Israeli defense minister said that I'm going to put my size 14 up here, and that they got really up about said about that because uh, it, it is obvious to everybody under the universe that Obama and Kerry are very anti-Semitic. Immigration activists urge Obama to act boldly. <laughs> they said his bold is basically if he does one more thing. The people that are trying to hold their seats in the Senate are going to side with the Republicans to throw his rear out of office. Mm. He is one of the most unpopular presidents in our history. He, he basically lies on a daily. What? Okay, the 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 only support he has. Well, he never lies. Comes from um, uh, Afro-American support. That's fifteen percent of the vote says he never lies. Every what? The other the above that. Well, fifty-seven percent say it. We got 37% says he lies all the time. 20% uh, says he only lies whenever he's on camera, because they said that uh, he, they give excuse because they said they know he's incompetent without a teleprompter or to say anything. And then the uh, another percent says he only lies this time. But then 17% says he always tells the truth no matter what. You know, it's amazing that they did a survey about when he lies and doesn't lie and tells this the truth. Is not, this is not the right-wing press. This happens to be the left-wing that basically took the poll because people think he's a liar. They can't trust oh, yeah. that, that, Can you trust this president? No. Virtually no one trusts him. And if the economy is reviving, why are more struggling, Americans struggling to afford food? Well, well, and it's not okay, just Americans. Because it, it's not just Americans. It's every in Europe has got massive inflation. Okay, the, I was watching a thing this morning. One of the people said he actually hadn't been in a grocery store in years because he said utter, he, he doesn't really go to the grocery store. He eats out because of a job. He said, my God. He said, I used to pay 99 cents for a loaf of bread that's now three and a half bucks and six dollars a gallon of milk mm -hmm. and he said I didn't realize things were this bad but the government keeps telling you there's no inflation why there's no inflation because you've lost so much money during the Obama administration on everything that you own that they said there's no inflation no oh my god the inflation still exists no matter what if if you were only paying 99 cents for brown sugar before Obama became president, and you're paying two ninety nine for that, that's called inflation. Mm. And lawyer says judge discriminated against him for not wearing pants in her courtroom. Because the, what happened was the guy had a, he had leg surgery on both legs and couldn't and was uh, all casted up. And the judge said that was improper attire for her courtroom, even though the guy is sitting in a wheelchair. What? Yeah. He's, getting, he's in a wheelchair because he can't walk and had to go to court. 
And the judge basically wanted to throw him in jail for improper attire in a courtroom. No, uh, okay, he had to go to court. If he was ruled to go to court, then the judge was going to toss him in the clink for contempt of court for showing up in court. Mm. That's, that's judges. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, it, it's um, always easy to support someone that buys your vote.